Another way to utilize your foam roller is to have it be a transition piece for you to use both at home and at gym, or again, that kind of in between where maybe you don't have time to go to the gym, but you want to give yourself a little bit more of an intensified workout with some resistance or increased difficulty. So I like to use the foam roller as an extension off of my normal plank that I would do. So a plank being that position where you hold either on your forearms or in that upright um, handstand or push up position where you're maintaining again, good core control. So with this exercise, I like to maintain kind of a belly button up and in, keeping your core nice and tight. Your hands will be out in front of you directly underneath your shoulders. You will push out with the foam roller to get up into that plank position. And then from here, you're gonna fold in just at your hips, keeping your back nice and neutral as you go in and out, just to really challenge your core in a different position. This is a great way, again, to utilize it to increase the difficulty of your plank. I would say try to do about five to six first before you rest down. But if you're having any pain in your shoulders or in your back, this is not something that you should continue.